Hi everyone, I'm Keisuke Otaki. Today, I'll explain our recent work. So we are studying a path planning problem class called Cooperative Path Planning. Let us see the first figure. The input of the problem is set of requests on a graph. The output is the set of paths that minimize some objective function. For example, we try to minimize the total travel cost of all requests. In the figure, we draw two sets of paths. One is the shortest path and the other is cooperative path. The cooperation here is represented by sharing sub-paths by request. Our motivation is to build an efficient solver to build cooperative paths for this problem class. We have two key features of our problem. The first one is we often take non-shortest passes because of the discount effect of the cooperation. For example, the minimum cost of the blue request is the shortest pass. However, we need to evaluate the cooperation, the blue and green, to reduce the total travel cost. The second one is that we assume vehicle types and some order of discount effects. For example, we have a vehicle and a UAV, and we have an order of discount effects like this. We prefer to select the cooperation among vehicles if possible to reduce the total travel cost. For this problem class, we know that small instances can be optimally solved by modern IP solvers. However, the behavior of using IP solvers was not analyzed in detail. In, the, in addition, we have no scalable solvers, so we are now studying this problem class and this talk presents some experimental results. In this slide, we show two experimental results using IP solvers. First, we evaluate the capacity constraint. Let us see the figure. We evaluate the travel cost of three vehicles. They travel together from A to B. The parameter Q works as follows when evaluating the total cost. If Q is 1, a vehicle can cooperate with another one vehicle. Therefore, the three vehicles are divided into two groups. If Q equal 2, in contrast, the three vehicles are regarded as a one group in the evaluation, so they can reduce the total travel cost more. So, now we evaluated the Q against the four run times, and the figure shows the mean run times. From the results, we conjecture that smaller Q requires more run times. Second, we observe the behavior of IP servers with respect to the parameter theta used in the branching and bound procedure. In branch and bound, if both the upper bound and lower bound are close enough, the solver stops. Three figures show travel cost, resulted gaps by solvers and run times. So we can see that if we set theta to 0.01 or 0.1, the computed result seems to be almost optimal. In addition, computational times are not so large. We conclude that we can use the IP server to find feasible solutions. However, it still takes a long time to build IP instances. Therefore, applications of IP servers are still limited. We therefore start to develop heuristic servers for this problem class. Our idea is to split vehicles into small groups using graph matching as follows. First, we fix some passes of a vehicle of the group. Second, we build other passes to cooperate with a fixed pass. For example, for this request, we decide to cooperate with a blue or a red based on the shortest passes. Last, we divide problems using scores based on the pairwise evaluation using shortest passes. In comparison, we prepare three variants of the third steps, the greedy, one matching, and B matching. The above chart shows the ratio of total travel cost and the below one shows run times. The dotted line shows the total travel cost of the shortest passes, and the red line shows the optimal total travel cost obtained by IP servers only for small instances. From experiments, we know that simple server can solve much large instances than the IP server. However, in the current status, the standard heuristic search techniques are still underdeveloped. In conclusion, we are now studying the path planning problem class for heterogeneous vehicle types. Our future work is to develop more heuristic solvers. Thank you for listening.